Oh, yeah, come on in. Was when I came into Minnesota from North Dakota, um, I was only about 10 or 12 miles in, and I got pulled over by a Minnesota State Policeman. Uh, and so he was walking up to, I could see him in my rear view, he was walking up to my car and I started shuffling around getting my license ready and I rolled down the window and he sort of leaned down and he said, what are you listening to? And I was kind of confused by the question, but I, I said, well, uh, music I, on Spotify here, I've got this on my phone, it's uh, like 15 million songs. And he wasn't impressed and he said, it's Sunday afternoon and this is Minnesota. You need to be listening to Garrison Keillor. Put it on 90.5. I said, but I don't like, and he said, it's a state ordinance. Put it on 90.5. So he walked away after I put it on 90.5, and uh, I had to drive the next 45 minutes listening to that drivel and particularly that, that, that breathing that he does where, you know, the wind rustles through his nose hairs and wheezes and whew, that was tough. One of the things when you camp as I do, you have to learn to live with uh, dirt and filth. And that's not been easy for me. I mean, those of you who know me know I'm, I'm no Chad Brannon. I mean, I'm not Mr. Clean, but this is kind of ridiculous, um, and it starts to stink, frankly. It's a good thing you can't smell it. Um, in fact, I woke up the other morning, and I was packing things up, and, and, I, and I smelled something, and I realized that, that, that some animal had uh, urinated on the, uh, on the tarp that I put down under the tent over there on the back corner. Um, and then after I thought about it a while, I realized that that animal was probably me. Um, the problem is that, you know, when you wake up at 2.30 in the morning with a full bladder uh, and uh, the bathhouse, the restroom, they're like a half a mile away uh, and you're in your, you know, you're in your boxer shorts, you just kind of uh, decide, well, I'll just walk around behind the tent and uh, evacuate my bladder. Must have gotten a little close. Uh, the other thing is uh, that you wind up uh, transporting bugs across state lines. Um, I, I got to Minnesota and I was unpacking my stuff and out of my, uh, out of my canvas bag crawls this, this bug an odd looking bug, but I knew he was a South Dakota bug that had like freeloaded over to Minnesota with me. And so, you know, I just, I, I cursed him. Uh, and he looked up at me with these eyes that seemed to say, uh, and it was kind of sad. He looked up at me with these eyes that seemed to say, where's my family? Where are my folks? And I felt a little bad about cursing him. And, and I, and, I, and I said to him, I said, well, you, you should have stayed out of my stuff. And he looked at me the, with these eyes that said, dude, you know, this is what I do. I go hunting for food and be honest, you're kind of sloppy and you dribble stuff in there. And so I was like getting food. And I said, oh man. So anyway, we sort of made a deal. Um, he, could, he can hang around here with me as long as he stays out of sight. But if I see him, I'm going to mash him. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, follow me